Hi, I'm Lakshmi Mohan Babu. I'm an artist, but I'm also an architect, a fashion designer and a jewellery designer. I'm better known as an artist and my main work is the interaction series of paintings. These paintings are meant to be a universal language of symbols and they're based on a number of religious, cultural and scientific concepts. Uh, I also use the color wheel, which is a scientific concept of uh, analyzing colors. And I've divided the paintings into, into four groups. Uh, the primary, which is three paintings, the secondary, which is another three paintings, and the tertiary group actually has two groups of three paintings each. And all of these are based on symbols that people can relate to from different parts of the world. So they have, uh, so it, you have the yin and the yang, which is very Eastern or Chinese or Buddhist uh, or Taoist. And then you have the, the mandala, which is a very Hindu Buddhist concept. And what I've done is I've tried to give these a modern interpretation by using arrows that show direction and movement. So each group has got a certain kind of symbolism. So the primary group of paintings, the three paintings, which are blue, red and yellow, are based on a basic shape, which is the triangle, and it shows movement in two directions. And the triangle is very important in, in terms of uh, the trinity, which is creation, preservation and destruction. Then you have the secondary group of paintings, which is based on a lotus form. So you have 12 sets of arrows or petals that are going outwards, and then you have 12 sets set of arrows that are going coming inwards so it shows an interaction of in and out and uh, this uh, based on the color you find that your perception of it is different because when it's orange you actually think of it as Hindu when you think think of purple you think of uh, Buddhism and when you look at green you think of Islamic because it's like the underneath of a dome and the tertiary group is based on two different symbols. So one of them is the, the windmill, which is a, a source of all energy. So when you think of the windmill, it's about energy. There are eight arrows that are going clockwise, and then there are eight arrows that go counterclockwise. So it suggests a kind of to and fro movement. And then the last group, which is the, uh, which is the dromenon, is based on a labyrinth form, which again, and all of these shapes, you'll find are universal. Any part of the world that you go to, you'll find that these symbols exist and which is why people are able to relate to, to these symbols. So the way I viewed these paintings was as a global language of symbols. The paintings also have another interesting idea behind it based on the yin and the yang. So it has got a negative side and a positive side. So you have the positive shape that determines the shape of the negative side. And the other feature in all of these paintings are that they are created with just a single line. So wherever you start tracing the painting, you will find that you'll come back to the same point. So of course, I don't just do art. I also like to translate my art into other functional objects like in, in interiors based on being an architect. So like, as you can see, like I have this table here, which is based on the interaction series of paintings. It's a sculpture that's designed along the same lines, but three-dimensional. And not just usable art, but I also like to do like wearable art. So I like to design everything that I wear, be it my clothes, my jewelry, uh, absolutely anything to do with fashion and jewelry. In fact, everything I'm wearing today, I've designed myself. So my dress, my necklace, my earrings, my ring, all of that's my own design. As a local Singaporean, I feel very honored to have my work chosen by the Moon Gallery to be sent to the moon. In fact, I feel that my art has actually been able to inhabit various spaces from the Suntic screen to Art Now Here and all the way to the moon. I also feel that the interaction series has continued to evolve, leading to so many different iterations and continued collaborations with the various universities here in Singapore with the current collaboration with NTU, where I have a blend of art and technology. Getting a gallery to understand my my ideology was something that was quite challenging for them to see my, my point of view. And artists are usually expected to follow a certain trend or fashion, so to speak, or even, even branding as an idea. And in my case, I like to tackle ideas such as difference, dichotomy and paradoxes. And this is a theme that I follow in pretty much all my series of paintings, just the medium in which I translate my paintings or the way I express it is quite different. So if you look at the interaction series of paintings, 
you'll find that it's very geometric in form. And then if you look at the expression series of paintings, you'll find that it's very figurative in form. But both of these actually have the same underlying idea in, in them. And this was something that at least that some galleries saw value in. The Moon Gallery did definitely see value in. And uh, that has been one of the challenges that I've faced as an artist. I see my work as a unifying set of symbols. And I wanted to be sculptures that I see all across Singapore, all across the globe. And one day, definitely a building.